Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to transform an ordinary bar chart into this half circle uh, riddle bar chart. So in my last video, actually I've shown you a similar kind of chart, which is how to transform a bar chart into this full circle riddle bar chart. But I recognize that sometimes in your dashboards or in your reports, because of the real estate, uh, you might simply want a half circle instead of a full circle, and that's fine. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. You don't have to watch the, f uh, the previous video to do this. I'm gonna show everything starting from scratch, uh, but you're welcome to if you need. Let's get started with the raw data. So here I have two simple tables for my business scenarios. I have five departments. I have their Q1 performance scorecards and Q2. And um, if I just do a simple bar chart, this is how it's going to look like. Um, and then, however, if I want to do uh, the half circle reader bar chart, I actually need to add two more columns, two more helper columns for this purpose. So let me explain to you. So actually you, you add the first, you add the second helper column first. Um, and this number, um, you can, you do actually need to think and plan before you do the chart. But for right now, for just charting the, um, the data, you can pick some um, number that's roughly half double of the maximum of your scorecard. So for my purpose, for example, my scorecard can go up to choose 250 as my maximum and I will copy the number down for all the columns. And then for my helper column, um, I'm going to actually having a formula here. So the helper one column is going to be helper two minus my scorecard number like this and then of course you just copy this down for your quarter two because it's the same thing um well, the best thing about this that once we chart the data you can uh, actually change the data here to make it dynamic and then adjust your chart to be the best visual that you want okay so now we've built uh, the two helper charts uh helper columns let's select all the data Go to insert different kind of donor chart. So go to pie, go to donor chart, and then you want the second option. I believe this type of chart is only available for Excel 2013 and above. Um, so if you're using to, uh, Excel 2010 or below, unfortunately, I think um, you cannot do this kind of chart. And then if you want to replicate this, you probably need to uh, basically do a couple pie charts of different size and then just overlapping them for a similar kind of visual effect. However, for Excel 2013 and above, I believe you can do this. So this is how it looks like. And uh, we actually wanted to shift a little bit to rotate, right? So the first thing that we do is select some data, um, format your data series, and then on the right, make your angle of the first slice to be uh, 270 degrees. Here we go. So then you have your bar, uh, your bars, your desired bars on the left side of the top half of the circle. Um, and then in terms of the whole size, I want to make it smaller. So I, I'm making it 30. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Uh, and let me get rid of the legend. I don't need the legend. Okay, so that's um, pretty much the prototype for our chart. Then the next step um, is to get rid of the second half, the bottom half, by just making it invisible. So to do that, um, we can use select. You select one of the data series, uh, but then click a second time. So you're only selecting the, uh, the gray area. And then you go to fill, um, basically, you ha want to have no fill for it. And then you do the same thing for the other ones. Okay, so once you have only the half visual, um, then the next step for you is to get, um, again, make the orange section invisible because they are also your helper. It's only the blue section that you care, right? Um, uh, I actually want to have some kind of border. Um, so what I need to do is to select only the orange area, still make it no fill, but make sure I have some kind of outline. 
and I want to have the outline to be gray, to be like a really light gray. So that's how, what makes it slightly different from the bottom side of it. Okay, so now we have cleaned up the format for this part. Uh, so now we have all the borders, but then it's just showing us blank so that we are basically highlighting uh, the bars that we want to show. So then the next step for us is to add uh, the data label to it. So to add data label, you go to chart element, add data label, and then show it. Okay, so here we have three parts of labeling. We don't want to show those two, so we and we only want to show those. So let's just format them um, uh, one by one. So for example, select this one and then make sure it's formatted as desired. Um, and then for those ones, you either get rid of, you can just click on it and then get rid of it. Okay, so now you can see I have formatted my labels. I have the bars that I want to show um, have the white label, and then for the ones that I don't want to show, I just hide them or get rid of them. So now compared to the final product, the one thing that we are missing is the labeling. So in terms of the labeling for the departments, I would suggest actually uh, just using text box. So for me, I used multiple text box. I make sure they're aligned properly and then I group them together. So I will just use that for my charting purpose. And then the good thing about grouping them is that you can just um, enlarge or shrink the size of it and then it, it's still maintaining the format. So for example, if I put it in he, on here, I can easily see the first bar is sales operations, second bar is sales support, third is service sales, da da da. And then the best part about it is again, it's um, dynamic. So let's say if my sales support score changes from 108 to 115, I change it here and then the chart is automatically updated. Um, so here is where I want to show you the impact for your helper column. So basically the value of your helper column two will determine how your chart looks. So now I'm having 250 and then you can see all my charts, are, all my bars are concentrated in this uh, quadrant of the chart. And that's what I want because I, I was um, this way I can I'm able to show all the department names on the right hand side. However, if that's not what I want, um, I can always change the value of my helper column. So, for example, if I change my helper column to be 150 for all of them. So you select all the um, cells, you click 150 and then you go control enter. It's all changed and then you can see the shape of my chart is automatically changed. Um, it might look um, okay for your purpose, but then the way to do that, um, well, the, the implication for this kind of chart is that, well, then um, you might have to shift your reference for the departments on the side um, or even put them down here for whatever tax that you need, because it, uh, if it's still here, then it's hiding the tax, right? Um, and again, like you can make it like wider if you choose to, so that they will be further smaller. Um, you can change it to whatever, so that the first two is slightly over, but then the other two, uh, the other three are sl uh, still concentrated on this part of the chart. So this is very helpful for you to basically determine how you want the chart to look uh, without um, making change to the original data and their scale. So I found that's pretty neat. So let's say, um, okay, so let me still keep it as 250 for my purpose. And then the last thing I need to do here is to uh, format my chart title. Or I can do it on the dashboard. Uh, it's a personal preference one. So let me say it's Q1 performance score card. Yeah, okay, so that's what I have. And then the last thing I do here is to save it as template. So this is my um, uh, template that I have formatted properly. I go right click, save to template. And now I go into here. 
um, where I've already saved my radio bar chart template. Uh, I'm gonna save a new one that's called radio bar chart half circle uh, for my future reference and then save it. Okay, so now I have saved it um, and then I'm gonna recreate this for my Q2. So let's say this is my Q1 chart. I wanna make sure it's looking proper. It's as what I desire for now. Um, and then I copy the chart down, um, change my title, and then change my data reference. So when you select the chart, your data reference is automatically um, highlighted you basically just change that to your uh, Q2 data. And then this is what happens. Once you change it, um, your, sh uh, your chart type automatically goes back to the original format, which is not ideal, but that's okay. Keep it highlighted. Go to change chart type template. We have the radar bar chart uh, half circle. And voila, here exactly is what we need with the data that we want. The only thing you need to reformat uh, is only in the chart title. Okay, cool. So now we have both charts done. Then the last thing you should do is basically go back into this chart and, or like maybe your dashboards and then just copy them into uh, the proper place. Um, and then maybe just shift it around a little bit to make it look as desired. I have double labels, so I'll get rid of that. Yeah, okay, so that's how it's gonna look and maybe you don't like border. I, I never really liked the border, so I will make sure I get rid of my border. Um, and then one last thing about formatting for this chart um, is that you notice because we have a half circle, we only, we're only showing half circle and the other half circle are invisible. It's okay for the chart purpose, but then what we don't like is um, it's actually showing a blank for the bottom half of the chart. And sometimes um, visually it's not pleasant. So um, an alternative way that you can do in Excel um, is actually insert a, um, a shape of the same color as your background so that um, you basically have it not showing. Yeah, so basically it's like you just have the first half of the chart and then you can do that for your Q2, have it hidden. And then when you move them uh, together, you would, um, yeah, it's basically like you don't see the second half of the chart and then this is the only uh, part of information that people need. And then you can still paste some other charts into the blank area, uh, which can save you a lot of space in your dashboard. Okay, so that is everything I wanna share with you today. I hope that you'll find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.